Welcome to Guru Number. Good morning, students. Welcome to Brahman Mumbai Municipal Corporation's statewide online lectures. I'm Yasmin Sheikh from Mithanagar MPS Secondary School. This is a Science 2 subject for Standard 9. We are doing Chapter 18 of Science 2, that is Observing Space Telescopes. We have completed the whole chapter. Today we are going to uh, do question and answers of this chapter. We are going to solve the exercise uh, related to this chapter. I hope you have followed the chapter. Uh, let us try to understand the questions asked in this chapter and try to answer them. <clears throat> yes, all of you can see here. Uh, if you're having textbook, you can open your textbooks to page number 214, the exercise, uh, that exercise. All of you can write the answer uh, in the textbook or uh, maybe you can also take the screenshot <clears throat> of the answers so that you can complete your notebooks. So uh, let us start. We'll start with the first question. The first question in your textbook is fill in the blanks with the proper words. Right. <clears throat> so the first question is the wavelength of visible light is between dash and dash. Right. What is the wavelength? 400 nanometers to 800 nanometers, isn't it? So <clears throat> Here are the answers for all the fill in the blanks. You can take the screenshot of it and let us revise. The wavelength of a visible light is between dash and dash. So it is. Four hundred nanometers. To eight hundred nanometers. So this is the visible wavelength which we can see. The second question is GMRT is used for dash waves. GMRT, <clears throat> we have studied this in the radio telescope, isn't it? So uh, the full form of GMRT is giant meter, view, uh, meter wave radio telescope. So it collects the radio waves, isn't it? So the answer is radio waves. A certain third is a certain X-ray telescope is named after the scientist Dash, right? So the X-ray telescope which we have studied is uh, the Chandra telescope and it is named after the scientist Subramanyam Chandrasekhar. Let us see the fourth one. <clears throat> the first scientist to use a telescope for space observation was Galileo Galilei. Okay. And the fifth is the biggest optical telescope in India is situated at Dash. So we have seen how the biggest optical telescope looks like and where it is located. It is located in Nainital, isn't it? Arivat Research Institute of Experimental Sciences, Nainital. So you have to write this all. <coughs> okay, so these were the fill in the blanks. So all of you can take this screenshot of the answers. I hope it is done. Now let us move on to the next question. <clears throat> the second is match the pairs. You have to form pairs. Group A and group B is given. X-rays, optical telescope, Indian radio telescope, launching artificial satellites. And in B group, it is given GMRT, ISRO, Humble, te Humble telescope, and Chandra. So it's very easy, all this we have studied. So X-ray, 
एक्सरे टेलीस्कोप पे चंद्रा सो एक्सरे टेलीस्कोप पे चंद्रा टेलीस्कोप ऑप्टिकल टेलीस्कोप द हब्बल टेलीस्कोप इज एन ऑप्टिकल टेलीस्कोप व्हिच इज देयर इन द स्पेस एंड देन इंडियन रेडियो GMRT, giant meter wave radio. They're launching artificial satellites. Who launched this artificial satellites in India? It is the organization that is called as ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Okay. <clears throat> so, take the screenshot. X-ray. Chandra Telescope, Optical, Hubble, Indian Radio, GMRT, and Launching Artificial Satellite, ISRO. <clears throat> now the next question is, you can see from your textbooks, the questions are, question is, what are the difficulties in using ground-based optical telescopes and how are they overcome? Right, so we have seen that uh, we, are, we have placed the ground based telescopes but some difficulties are there because of which we need to use the uh, telescope uh, launched in the space isn't it so uh, what are the difficulties so you have to write the answer in this way in point form see in science when you're writing brief answers if you write the answers in point form or point wise uh, it is uh, good for the teacher to get the point and it is also good for you to get the marks easily. Always try to write the answer in point form. So here we will see <clears throat> what are the difficulties. So the difficulties faced in using ground-based telescopes due to which it does not make good quality observation are. So the first problem is intensity of the light rays reaching the earth surface decreases as some of the light is absorbed by the atmosphere, isn't it? So uh, the light rays which are coming, uh, so some of the light rays are absorbed by the atmosphere. So it becomes difficult to get a clear image. Then, so decreasing the intensity of the light rays decreases. Then the next is the change in atmospheric pressure and temperature. So, you know, there is, there is change in the atmospheric pressure and temperature when the light rays are traveling. Causes the light rays to change their path slightly and thus shake the position of the image. Third is we cannot use optical telescopes during daytime because of the presence of sunlight. So because sunlight is present, so uh, it is difficult for the optical telescopes to catch the image. <clears throat> Even in night, city lights and cloudy weather can cause hindrance in observing the heavenly bodies. Right? So uh, these are the difficulties. We are having four points. And when you're writing it point-wise, even you try to highlight the important words. Now, see, in the first line, the important words are intensity of the light rays decreases. Intensity of the light rays decreases. In the second point, the important is change in atmospheric pressure and temperature. The third is <coughs> presence of sunlight in the daytime. And the fourth is in the night also, city lights and cloudy weather uh, creates the hindrance. Okay, so in this way, you will, uh, so uh, when you're learning also, it becomes easy for you to learn if you, write, if you learn it point-wise and underlining the important words. Okay, so shall we move on? So these are the difficulties. Now let us see how to overcome these difficulties. To overcome the above problems, telescopes are now being erected in space itself. Some of the telescope in the space are. So in order to solve all this problem, what is the solution that the telescopes have to be uh, 
erected in space. So we have studied that uh, there are two telescopes we have studied which are there in the space. That is Hubble telescope and Chandra telescope. So Hubble telescope, it is an optical telescope. Again, uh, you can underline the important words. Hubble telescope is an optical telescope launched by uh, NASA, that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration in 1990. It is orbiting the Earth at a height of 589 kilometers from it and has a mirror of diameter 94 inches. That is the information about Hubble telescope. And here you can underline these words to overcome the above problem, the telescopes are now being erected in the space. So the solution is to erect the telescope in, uh, in the space. Okay. Then uh, the next is Chandra telescope. It is an X-ray telescope launched by a National Aeronautics and Space Administration in 1999. Special mirrors which can reflect X-rays are used in this telescope. So you have to write only this much. So what are the difficulties? You have to write four points. And uh, what is the solution? That is, uh, we have erected the telescopes in space and we have to write in short about these two telescopes. <coughs> Follow on. So uh, this question can be asked for three marks. So you have to write in short. Then the next is question number four. Which type of telescopes can be made using a concave mirror, convex mirror, plane mirror, and a lens? Draw diagrams of these telescopes. Right? So now this is a big question. Uh, you have to show the construction of both a Newtonian telescope and Cassegrain telescope. So it can be asked for five marks. So you can see here, you have you need to write <clears throat> the two types of telescope, their names, explanation, and the figure. So uh, this all information if you'll write about Newtonian telescope in details uh, and draw the diagram, it will carry two and a half marks. And when you're writing about Cassegrain telescope, that carries two and a half marks. So totally it will make five marks. The last question, which is asked in the science paper of five marks, it can be asked in that. Okay, so let's just try to understand. So reflecting telescopes, reflecting type of telescopes can be made using concave mirror, convex mirror, plane mirror, and a lens. Reflecting type of telescope is mainly of two types, Newtonian telescope and Cassegrain telescope. So we have to write in short about Newtonian telescope. Light rays coming from heavenly bodies, that is distant ob object, get reflected by the concave mirror. Before the reflected rays converge at the focus of the concave mirror, it is again reflected by the shown. As a result, the rays pass through the eyepiece and we get a magnified image of the body, right? And you also have to draw the diagram as I have explained you the diagram in the lecture. This is a concave mirror. So the light is coming from the source. The light gets reflected by the concave mirror and after reflection, it is getting deflected by the plane mirror and then the image can be seen from the eyepiece. So you have to label all this part. This is eyepiece. This is the light source. Then this is concave mirror, plane mirror. <coughs> this is reflection and here is the deflection. Right. So in short, see here, uh, uh, it is only written very short about it. So that way you have to write short answers, only the important points. Okay, you can underline the important points. What are those reflecting type of, so the answer is reflecting type of telescopes. Which type of telescopes can be made using these mirrors? It is reflecting type. So you have to underline that reflecting type of telescopes can be made using concave mirror, convex mirror, plane mirror and lens to underline that. Then after that, you have to underline Newtonian telescope 
and uh, then you have to explain it. So, and the diagram is important. Okay. <clears throat> this carries half mark, then this description carries one mark and the diagram carries one mark. So that makes it two and a half marks. Then the next is Cassegrain telescope. This is also the same. Okay, so the name that is Cassegrain Telescope and the description, it carries one and a half marks. And this diagram carries one mark. So let us see. So you have to underline Cassegrain Telescope and you have to label the diagrams properly. The Cassegrain Telescope, in this telescope, the light rays after reflection from the concave mirror are reflected back towards it by a small convex mirror. Then the rays pass through the eyepiece placed at the back of the concave mirror as shown. The eyepiece produces a magnified image of the source. Okay. So here you can see the diagram, this light source. Here is the concave mirror, convex mirror. So uh, light is coming here, reflected from the concave mirror, going to a convex mirror, then again deflected back, and the image is seen in the eyepiece. Right? So the ray diagrams are very easy. Just you practice, uh, practice the ray diagrams for both Newtonian and Cassegrain. And uh, so it is very important. Practice both the diagrams. Okay, so this much you have to write for this question number four. Then next is question number five. <clears throat> what is the question? Again, this is an important question which can be asked for five marks in the exam. Study the figure and answer the following question. So one diagram is shown in, is shown to you and the five questions are asked to you and each question carries one marks. So the question is study the figure and answer the following questions. So the figure is shown, what type of telescope is shown in the figure? Label the main parts of the telescope. Which type of mirror does the telescope use? What other type of telescope? Right, so this is an interesting question. Just now we have solved this. So what type of uh, fig, uh, what type of uh, ray diagram it is? It is a Newtonian telescope, isn't it? So you have to explain that. See how to write the answer. So first answer is Newtonian telescope is shown in the given figure, right? The figure which is given, what is that? It is a Newtonian telescope. Then the next question is label the main parts of the telescope. So you have to draw that diagram and you have to label it. It is concave mirror, this is plane mirror, then the light source and the eyepiece. So that you have to show. Then what is the third question? Which type of mirror does the uh, telescope use? So both plane and spherical mirrors. Spherical mirror means concave and convex mirrors are called as spherical mirrors. So here we have we are using concave mirror. So both plane and spherical mirror is used in this telescope. The spherical mirror is a concave mirror. Then the next question is what other type of telescope uses a curved mirror? So also we know that Cassegrain telescope uses a curved mirror. So you have to underline these answers. Here the answer is Newtonian telescope. Here the answer is both plane and spherical mirror. Then Cassegrain telescope also uses a curved mirror. Right? So you have to underline the important answer, important words in the answer. 
<laughs> then the last question is explain the working of the above telescope so you need to explain light rays coming from the heavenly bodies that is distant object get reflected by the concave mirror before the reflected rays converge at the focus of the concave mirror it is again reflected by the plane mirror as shown as a result the rays pass through the eyepiece and we get a magnified image of the body so question number 4 and question number 5 are having similar answers so even if you learn one you can write the answers for both the questions it is very easy and scoring you can you will easily get 5 marks if you do this answer okay now next question question number 6 answer the following questions explain the construction of galileo's telescope then next is explain the construction of radio telescope then why are optical telescopes located in uninhabited places on mountains why can an x-ray telescope not be based on the earth so let us see how to write the answers for this now the first answer that is question number 6a explain the construction of galileo telescope so how he has made the telescope galileo in 1906 galileo constructed a telescope which provides an erect image of an object only with the help of two lenses the galileo's telescope consists of two lenses located at the ends of a long tube as shown in the figure below the objective was a was a con convex lens and the eyepiece was a concave lens right so you can see here <coughs> so it was a very easy kind of uh, telescope Right, so here you have to highlight. So two lenses you were used. One was a convex lens, and the other was concave lens in a long tube. And you have to draw this diagram in order to write this answer. Can you see here? So this is a convex lens, and this is a concave lens. Followed. So only this much you have to write for this answer. The next. What is the next question? Explain the construction of a radio telescope. So uh, this question can be asked for two marks. or maybe 3 marks it is only 2 mark or 3 mark question and you have to write only limited but specific precise answers you have to write <clears throat> with the correct diagram so construction of radio telescope these telescopes are used to see radio waves coming from the space it has one or more dishes of parabolic shape so this is important when you writing the construction it has got the dish which is of parabolic shape okay right? the rays coming from the distant source at first is reflected by these dishes which converges at a focus then it has got a focus point a radio receiver is placed at the focal point which gathers the information the gathered information is then uh, then passed on to a computer which analyzes it and construct an image of the source so it is only this much that you have to learn and write <coughs> the figure is you can see here the figure you have to draw in this way roughly you have to draw a disk and a uh, 
a focal length that is radio receiver. So this is the receiver. Then computer recorder. And this is the desk. Okay. So only these things you have to mention in this answer. Parabola shaped desk. Then it gets reflected at the focus. The focus is called radio receiver. <clears throat> the, then the information is gathered and passed on to the computer. And draw the diagram. Drawing the diagram is important. It carries marks. So if the question is of three marks, so writing this information carries one and a half marks. And the diagram carries one and a half marks. Now next, why are optical telescopes located at in uninhabited and un, sorry uninhabited places on mountains? Right. So why the optical telescope should be there? This also we have again uh, we have already done this in the third question, question number three. What are the difficulties in using ground-based optical telescope? So the same answer answer will be repeated here. Right. So. You have to write that only. Optical telescopes situated on the surface of the earth does not produce images of good quality of, for, of the following reasons. So they say same reasons you have to write. So the same answer will be repeated here. Only the question is asked in the different manner. Here the question was, in question number three, the question was, what are the difficulties in using ground-based optical telescopes? And here the question is, why are optical telescopes located in uninhabited places on a mountains? So the meaning is the same, only question is asked in different manner. <coughs> so you have to write the same answer. So what are the difficulties? In intensity of the light rays reaching the Earth's surface decreases as some of the light is absorbed by the atmosphere. The second point is, uh, the change in the atmospheric pressure and temperature cause the light rays to change their path slightly and thus shake the position of the image. Third, we cannot use optical telescopes during daytime because of the presence of sunlight. And the last point is even in night light, uh, city lights and cloudy weather can cause in hindrance in observing the heavenly bodies. That is why the optical telescopes are located on mountains. Right? So same answer you have to write and mark the important points. Again, this answer can be asked for two marks. You have to write four points. So it is situated on the this because it does not produce good quality of uh, image. Intensity of the light rays decreases. Change in atmospheric pressure and temperature then we cannot use optical telescopes during daytime because of the sunlight and city lights and cloudy weather. So these points you have to highlight with the help of pencil. Thus, the telescopes are located in the Anambe so that you have to write on a higher altitude such as on top mountains to reduce the above problems in appreciable amount. Then the next question is, <clears throat> why can an X-ray telescope not be based on the Earth? Why X-ray telescopes uh, should not be based on the Earth? X-ray telescope cannot be based on the Earth because X-rays do not reach the Earth's surface as they are blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. Right. So as the X-rays 
they are blocked by the earth's atmosphere that is why they do not reach the surface of the earth properly and that is why x-ray telescopes cannot be based on the earth <laughs> let us see uh, whether it is uh, the answer is more or one Okay, no, only this much is the answer for that. So X-ray telescopes cannot be based on the Earth because X-rays do not reach the Earth's surface as they are blocked by the Earth's atmosphere. So it is a small question for two marks. Right. So here we have completed the whole chapter all the explanation of the full chapter and the exercise also so there are six questions we'll revise quickly fill in the blanks are there then match the pair then question number three Question number four, we have done it. Question number five, this is an important question. I will request you to uh, do this question properly because it is most of the time asked in the exam. Then this is sixth question. It consists of four sub questions, A, B, C, D. This is that we have done A, B, C and D. Okay, and also uh, in exercise one project is given collect information about various observatories in India and present in the class. Right, so I would like to give you this uh, as a homework. So collect the information about various observatories in India. So on the net, if you will write on Google observatories in India, you will get the whole information. Thank you. Anna. And uh, then <coughs> also uh, I would like to give you a website uh, regarding getting the information about uh, ISRO. It is uh, given in the textbook www.isro.gov.n. So if you need to get, uh, if you want to know more information about our Indian Space Research Organization, uh, organization you can go to that site and get the information regarding it. The students, those who are interested. So here we finish with the whole chapter with the question answers. All of all the students are requested to complete their notebooks, write the notes in their notebooks. Thank you.